Hello everybody, welcome to No Sevens Dice Club. I wanted to give you guys a casino update for the LaBerge in Baton Rouge. I did one for you guys in Lake Charles, but never did one in Baton Rouge. I try to shoot this video on location like I always do for all my casino updates. My phone died. I didn't I forgot to charge it that night to shoot it in the morning and my phone died. It was when I was coming back from um, the evacuation uh, this past week. But I wanted to give you guys a quick little update and uh, real quick, um, I think his name is Texas Ron. Uh, he, he's a subscriber with me. I think that's his, his YouTube name. Uh, let me know if they have the same deal uh, at the LaBerge in uh, Lake Charles. So I want to discuss with you the uh, LaBerge in uh, Casino in Baton Rouge at the craps table has the sharpshooter. Um, they have it at two tables and they have two crapless tables. You know, the crapless tables are the ones that have uh, numbers two through 12. You can play all the numbers except for the seven. Uh, your normal craps table is four through 10. But at the normal tables, the four through 10, not their crapless tables. And they didn't have it open for me. So I suspect that they don't normally have the normal craps tables open with the sharpshooter. And the way the sharpshooter works, it's kind of like the fire bet, but only better. What you're trying to do is you're trying to hit points. So if you hit a lot of points, then you want to go play at the LaBerge uh, in Baton Rouge. And comment, let me know if it is at the Lake Charles. I, I, I ran in and out of that casino so quick. I'm sorry, guys. I did not give you guys uh, an update and let you know that there was the sharpshooter at the Lake Charles or not. Uh, if When I do head back to Lake Charles in a couple months, I'll let you know also if none of my uh, subscribers comment on it. But the way it works is that the only thing you have to do is hit points. And it's not too far out the realm if you're a pretty good um, shooter. That's the reason why it's called a uh, sharpshooter. The most points I've ever hit uh, for me playing craps was nine points, and I did it one time. On a good roll, uh, when I get up there, when, when I get really hot, I might be able to hit four to five points. So <laughs> it's really crazy. Uh, I, hit, I hit a seven, and I hit an eight, and I hit a nine one time each in my lifetime. But I normally, if I get on a good roll, I hit four to five. So the way it works is that if you hit 10 points, it pays out 300 to one, nine points, 200 to one, eight points, 100 to one, seven points, 50 to one, six points, 30 to one, five points, 20 to one, four points, 10 to one, and three points, six to one. And normally guys, if you're on the roll and you're doing fairly well, and you, if you're using a die set that you like, uh, your chances of you hitting three points is pretty highly successful. And they also have at the craps table, each one, doesn't matter if it's crapless or, or just a normal craps table, they do have the all tall small and uh, it's $5 minimum. So you can go five, five, five. And they had a guy who bet up to $100 each. I don't know if he got special permission or not. He came really close to hitting uh, the all and the tall, I mean the small and the tall, he needed, I think it was the three and the 11. I couldn't believe that. The only thing he needed was the 11 on the tall. I think it was the three on the small. And I mean, he would have been, he would have been making some serious money. It's a 14 foot table. It's semi hard. It's got a little bit of a bounce, but not too much of a bounce. So you can't really call it semi bouncy. It's more semi hard. I know that's kind of a weird term, for some guys, <coughs> it might be semi-bouncy to you. But when I played, it was it seemed like it was more semi-hard than anything else. It wasn't rock hard. It wasn't like it sounded like you were playing on bricks or anything else like that. Uh, I rolled three times on there. Uh, two times I rolled. The first day I rolled, one time was in the 20s. Second time was I established a point, um, rolled a number. And then seven out. Then the second day when I played, it was uh, I rolled in the mid teens for one roll, and then I cashed out. I had over a hundred dollars and left uh, in profit, so I didn't want to stick around and you know have a potential to lose it. Um, 
let's see what else was I was going to tell you. The only I played there um, Saturday night and I played there um, Sunday morning. And the only thing they had was the one table open. It was the crapless table. Really surprised that they did not have the sharpshooter with the craps table. I'm going to go back a couple of times and see and try to talk to uh, somebody over there and see when they're going to have the um, normal craps table. I tried to talk to the pit boss. There was nobody there on a Saturday night. It was, I don't know what was going on that night. It was crazy. I couldn't get a manager to talk to me. Everybody was busy at the craps table. They didn't even have a pit boss. They had another, uh, they had a stick man replacing the other stick man uh, being a pit boss. Uh, I, I've never seen anything like that before. It's crazy. One table open. They had about 12 people waiting. Didn't open up any more tables. Really, really crazy. Uh, also, in that casino, it's a very small casino. If you ever walk in there, it's very nice. It's the latest casino, I believe, that was open in Louisiana. It opened, I think it was uh, eight or ten years ago, I think it was, that it opened. Uh, it's right there on the Mississippi River. Beautiful uh casino it, it kind of reminds you of the rustic uh northern woods in the um in the northwest uh very nice casino very clean smells very nice they do they, they do a really good job of trying to accommodate you for whatever you need they have a couple restaurants over there no buffet no baccarat they do have blackjack tables they do have um oh and the craps table is a 14 foot craps table too uh, but they do have blackjack. Everything's $15. They do have digital craps. Uh, not the digital table craps that, like I've talked about, but the bubble craps. And they do have um, they do have roulette. It's $15. They have the uh, electronic roulette. It's, uh, I think when I walked over there, it was 5 or $10. And then they have the stadium um, uh baccarat uh, not baccarat i keep on saying baccarat but the stadium roulette the stadium uh blackjack is over there i didn't see baccarat but uh i didn't really hit the buttons and really search in the stadium they might have baccarat i'm not quite sure and uh like i said they have your usual three card stud your mississippi stud your cajun stud i think is what was also over there a couple of slot machines um they do have a lot of concerts that do roll in and out of there with some famous artists so they do try to keep it kind of trending kind of up even though there is it really is not a big casino i mean you can walk that whole entire floor in about 10 minutes it's it's really small it's pretty much like being on a riverboat uh casino uh so that's pretty much about the la Berge in baton rouge uh if you do have a chance to stay there stay there the rooms usually run about 100 to 150 dollars a night uh, they do get kind of expensive on the weekends, roughly about 200 to 250. But if you're rolling through, uh, if you're if you're coming that way through Baton Rouge, go ahead and stay, check it out. Uh, there's a really good restaurant in Baton Rouge. It's called Monsieur's on the Boulevard. If you happen to have a chance, book a reservation, go there to eat Monsieur's on the Boulevard. Well worth it. Great restaurant. Uh, it's a little pricey. It'll run you about you know, $20, $30 a plate, but really, really good food. It's about 12 minutes away from the casino. Uh, if you're going through the town, just go stop at a La Berge in Baton Rouge. You won't be disappointed. Very clean casino, very nice, small, uh, $15 tables. And hopefully when you pass by, they do have uh, the sharpshooter open at the normal craps tables. Um, <coughs> but I think that's pretty much about it. Um, I can't really think of anything else about the Liberge. If you guys have any questions or comments, just let me know. I wish I had a little bit more information, but like I said, that Saturday night, I could not get a, a pit boss to talk to me. I couldn't even get a casino manager. Nobody to talk to me that night about this casino. So I'm just giving you information that I've recon and just relaying back to you. But I really do like this, um, this craps table, very nice craps table, um, Hopefully they do open up the sharpshooter. I can tell you about it a little bit more, but this is the information I have right now. Wish you guys lots of luck. Thank you for tuning in, checking out this video, and I hopefully have a couple more videos coming to you in the next couple of days. Good luck at the casino, guys.